Hello everyone, today is the day. It is time for the big reveal. I am so excited because we have worked so hard and we've been just trying to get this put together for quite a while now. So I'm just gonna walk you through the different changes that we made throughout the camper. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel or my story, my husband and I were living in a 2,000 plus square foot house. Uh, we were renting it and we decided to purchase a camper and live tiny in order to pay off debt and be able to do some of the things that we would like to do and save money to eventually build our dream home. Okay, so if you love before and after pictures of renos, homes, whatever, stay tuned because you're gonna love this. I'm gonna show you the before and then the after, and I hope you all like it as much as I do. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna kind of explain the reno process, and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So as you first walk into the camper to the left, there was originally a couch that was there. The owners that we purchased this camper off of actually had already removed the couch and had two rocking chairs. So for our purposes and what we felt was most functional for us, we decided to take out those two chairs and put in a small little like dining table that um, is basically a two-seater. So um, we felt like for us that was the best option. The table and chairs that we have there are passed down from my brother and sister-in-law, but it actually ended up per fitting perfectly in the space. And then I just put like a little jute rug underneath it to make it kind of feel more homey. And I also, you'll notice I did put some white kind of sheer curtains on most of the windows. Some of the windows still don't have anything on it yet, but um, the biggest windows that we have and like the one in behind me, it already has um, white shears on it. And I honestly just used the ones that I had in our rental home before. So I think taking out those chairs, it really has opened up the space. But I think the biggest thing, the two biggest things that you're gonna notice is the things that we took out of the camper, we painted the entire camper white. And I love it. All, everything except for the bottom part of um, our kitchen ca cabinets. I love that we painted everything white because it feels more like a home. It makes it feel bigger, but painting everything white was crazy. It took us so much longer than we would have ever imagined. It was me and my mother-in-law, my mom, I think I had a friend that came and helped. Like it took every bit of us and we worked so hard on it. Like I cannot thank them enough, but it is so hard painting a camper because all the little like cracks and crevices and the cabinet doors, you have to take them up, put them back on, you have to prime first, then you have to put paint on. So it was definitely a challenge. But we ended up painting everything white and then I painted the hinges this like champagne color uh, spray paint. So I just sprayed them, spray painted them a champagne color. Um, and I really like how it ended up turning out. I'm like looking around and everything. I really like how it turned out. In our slide, which is what I'm sitting on right now, um, this was probably also one of the bigger changes um, besides painting it and then adding the tile wood looking floors and taking up the carpet. Um, so we did take up the carpet in the slide and at the end of the slide there was this huge like cabinet thing closet. We took that out because we didn't think we really needed that and we also took out the, the dining table like booth thing because we definitely didn't think that we needed that either. I'm so glad we took that out. We were able to fit couch. It actually was a part of my sectional. Um, I was going to sell my sectional and I just didn't find the right buyer. So I decided um, to just take part of it and it fit here perfectly in the slide. I took part of it just knowing that I have like insurance on it. So if for any reason like it should get really dirty or look different than the rest of the sectional, then I can just replace it and it's no big deal. So um, that gave me a little bit of comfort. Um, we also brought the same little, um, they're just like two end tables pushed together. We brought those from our rental home and that's what we put the TV on. When I convinced Tyler to go on this journey and to do this, um, his one requirement was that he had to have his massive TV in here. And I was like, 
oh my gosh, how am I going to fit something that big in such a small space? Luckily, we were, we were able to make that happen. So this big old TV is here and he's super happy and that makes me happy. So whatever. So in this little slide, we did add the couch and the TV and um, the little console table that it's on. So those were the big like structure changes that we did. We did make another one in the bathroom. Um, but first let me talk about the kitchen. So the kitchen, we didn't really change any of the countertops. We didn't add a backsplash. That was something that I had thought I wanted to do. And maybe I might add like the pill and stick uh, backsplash later. Um, but really we just painted all the cabinets and the refrigerator white. And then the bottom set of cabinets, I painted like a sage green, which ugh, I'm obsessed with it. So um, we did end up bringing the Keurig. I was like, I am not putting that massive thing on top of my counter. Like there's not enough space, but I found myself wanting it so bad. So I just ended up adding or putting it there. And there was actually a little spot there as, you, as soon as you walk in the door. And so we did end up putting the Keurig there. Um, everything else, I try not to keep anything on top of that countertop because it just gets cluttered and you can't really use anything. Um, so yeah. And then our pantry, we of course painted that white as well but the one thing that I was really happy to add is from our rental home we had this little um, we had this flower picture frame that my mom had bought me and it's like a painting of flowers it fit perfectly over top of that cabinet up there that was just open because I really wanted to be able to use it and put stuff in it but I didn't want every I didn't want to be able to like look at it all the time like chip bags, boxes, you know, stuff like that. So I put that picture frame over it and I think it looks so good. Um, and it works fine and I just hung it up there. So then as we go into the bathroom, I did end up taking out that big cabinet above it because I felt like it just blocked it off. We haven't put the door back on it yet and I don't know if I will because I feel like it's so like small and confined that I don't know if I'm actually going to like put the door back on but it's there in case we decide to um so I took that big cabinet out and just put um one of those floating looking shelves and we were able to put like our washcloths and stuff like that over top of it and we did of course end up painting all that white and we changed out the flooring at the top of the fifth wheel as well so I guess um, maybe I haven't mentioned, but it is a fifth wheel. So if you're wondering about the layout, this is a fifth wheel. Um, the only other thing we ended up doing back there in the bedroom is I painted it all white because I wanted it to look big. And then I just put up these very pale pink like curtains that I had from actually my college dorm or my college apartment. And I think it's like pretty, it's kind of girly, but I think it's really cute. And I just, um, I think using like a white quilt and very um I love the pillows that I put on there because it's very like luxurious and I think it's crazy to think that this camper just feels so much more like it's kind of a vintage chic vibe and it just feels so much more open it feels more homey and I'm so glad that we were able to um, do this and get this and all this kind of came together. You might have seen a few things that weren't finished and that is on our to-do list. It's something we're going to do. But yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope you love the reveal. Um, be sure to leave in the comments what you all think. And yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.